welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins, Carly and Britta. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe. We have such a fun video today. We are doing our fall favorites. We did this last year? No, I it was two it. years ago. Oh, we did it last year and the year before. Yeah, because we did the Jaclyn Hill fall favorites tag like two years ago. Yeah, and now we're just going to do our own favorites. Yeah. Not like a tag. So this is super fun. It includes makeup, lifestyle, like everything in between. So let's get started. Okay, this could be our favorite thing ever for fall and it's so random we've talked about well, it on you know, i hope it's not random i hope you I know hope what it's these not are either cinnamon broom oh come on okay <laughs> from trader joe's these are so good it's four dollars and if you don't know what it is it literally is like a broom hopefully you can see this like it looks um, like a witch's it broom. looks like a witch's broom but they like douse it in cinnamon oil and it just makes your house smell amazing it's honestly just a genius idea it is and they make minis um we also found minis that are like car, car cinnamon brooms at sprouts so they have them there as well but trader joe's it's just our go-to. Yeah, but they have them. They should have them at every grocery store because Vons had them last oh, year. Oh, really? Too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cinnamon brooms a thing everywhere. Yeah, so really, just your local grocery store. Go mm -hmm. pick one up. You will not regret it. Mm -hmm. They're so delectable. I love them. Okay, next up is a food item. These are the pumpkin spice RX bars, and these are amazing. They're so good. Like best RX bar flavor they have ever made, yeah. and I'm really sad that they're limited edition because they're so good. They taste like authentic pumpkin pie. Like, yeah. When you don't taste artificial at all no. because they aren't. Obviously. When you bite into it, you're just like, this tastes like pumpkin plus all the delectable spices that go into pumpkin pie. Like, let's see. Well, and if you're unfamiliar with RX bars, they have the ingredients listed on the front. So it's like very minimal ingredients. Yeah, but they still have, yeah, like the um, flavors in it are cinnamon, cloves, and then pumpkin. Yeah, so you can really taste the cinnamon. It's so good. This flavor is amazing. And they're healthy. Yeah, they're healthy. So if you see these, we got them at Target and at Trader Joe's. You should pick them up. Next up is another Trader Joe's find. This is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle. They also have a Macintosh variety, but we like the vanilla pumpkin the most. It says there's 5.7 ounces, which is 20 hours of burn time for like $4. So it really can't beat the price. It smells really warm and cozy and it smells mostly like vanilla with a hint of pumpkin I would say but it's a really good candle and we highly recommend it like they do seasonal candles so throughout the year they'll come out with different flavors and I think this is probably my sense and I think this is probably my favorite one okay and another candle favorite which is a little more expensive is the sweet vanilla cinnamon candle for it's the brand how do you say no that? idea it's one of anthropology's brands yeah it's from anthro it smells so amazing. It smells, it smells like so good. Fresh baked goods. We really love pine candles. We said that before. But for fall, we like more like sweet vanilla as you warm, can tell. cozy mm -hmm. scents. And this is exactly that. How much was this? $18. It's a pretty good deal. And it's lasted a while. So yeah, I think it's a good deal. It's a really good candle. If you like sweet, warm, inviting scents, this is for you. Okay, I think we have one skincare favorite. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And it smells just like pumpkin with a hint of spice. It's it <sighs> smells so good. Are you are you supposed to keep that on? I don't know. I did. Oh my god! It smells amazing. It I smells so good. Nice. But aside from how this it might smells, be better than both candles we just <laughs> talked about. But aside from both smells, it actually works really well. It's like a chemical resurfacer, and it has um, physical. a physical exfoliant in it. So it's, it's sugar, kind right? of like the. I think so. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the exfoliate where you only leave it on for a little bit and it, the chemicals exfoliate your skin while it's on your skin and then the physical exfoliants exfoliate as you rinse it off. Mm -hmm. So we like masks like that because they're really quick and efficient and you can use them once a week so this will last you like a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, but we tend to use this more in the fall just because our skin does get drier with mm -hmm. the transition from summer to fall and because it smells like pumpkin. Yeah, it truly does. Like This was such a hit for us. We It says yeah. pumpkin enzyme mask but... Um, there's pumpkin in a lot of masks because it's a really good ingredient for your yeah. skin. But we did not expect it to smell like pumpkin pie. And it smells so good. It is amazing. Okay, next up are meals. So if you don't know what these are, they're shoes that you slide on. Basically, slides, right? otherwise known as slides. Yeah. You generally have a pointed toe. Yeah, they've kind of made a comeback in the past like couple of years. And my favorite pair are really destroyed at this point. I'm, but they're my favorite, so I'm going to talk about them. They're from Madewell, and they're these leather um, pointed toe 
mules and they're so comfy I wear them all the time I've like have scuffed up the top so much just from like I don't know I just wear them, them often but the reason we like mules for fall is because they're a good transitional shoe yeah like when the weather might be so warm but a little bit chilly so you want your toes covered but you don't want to go full-on socks and boots yeah at least where we live I know yeah. in colder climates you probably can't wear these for very long but um where we live they're such a good investment because you can wear them for so long and yeah like I said I've had these for like a year now and they do look weathered, but I still really love them. And um, because they were a little more pricey, they're like just made really well, made well. Um, and so like the sole is really comfy and they're like squishy and just so beautiful. I love these shoes so much. And mine are from Target. So I bought these this year. I have so many pairs of mules, but I really, really have been loving these because they have a little bit of a block heel. So I feel like it, you can kind of dress them up or down. They're really, really comfortable. They come up. I know this is like a silly thing, but sometimes mules come too far up the foot and it can be a little uncomfortable and if they don't come up far enough then they can slide off really mm. easily and these I feel like come up the perfect amount on your foot so they stay on but they don't bend all weird and the pointed toe is really really comfortable uh, they're easy to clean because they're like this faux leather they're cushiony on the sole I just love these I wear them so much I mean I got them this year and I feel like they even look a little bit more worn than I'd like just because I've worn them so much so many places so highly recommend this is a good affordable shoe option and it's black so it goes with everything okay I'll just talk about the next fashion favorite they're these earrings also from Mabel are they the same ones I'm wearing yeah yeah okay they're the chunky gold medium hoops and we talked about them before we love them especially for fall I feel like gold jewelry is so warm and like rich and just looks good with like fall makeup fall clothes it's just beautiful and these you can wear with anything because they're just gold hoops yeah and they're the perfect size I mean we've raved about these before so you know we love them but I just think if you're going to pick up any sort of piece for fall like these are such a good staple to have in your collection agree Okay, and we each chose our favorite fall lip color for the year, and which was really hard. It was really hard, and last year, remember, we chose Jeffree Star's Leo, which mm -hmm. I love the lip color, so it's really hard to, like, choose one that I like more than that, but I have been wearing Ofra Miami Fever constantly. It is, like, a brighter version of Leo, I would say. It's still a very rich orange, um, but it's not too bright, so it's not really summery, in my opinion. I feel like this is very suitable for fall. It's kind of like the perfect pumpkin lip, I would say, and the formula if you've never tried the Ofra liquid lipsticks this is their old packaging but they have rebranded but the formula has stayed the same and it's very comfortable it doesn't dry down completely matte which I like you can blot them down because they are really pigmented so even if you blot them down they're still gonna look very rich and pigmented on the lips and they are long wearing in my opinion so I love this formula very comfortable and I love this shade um, my favorite is brioche it's one of the bite multi sticks so it comes in this little cute component and it's like a dark hmm how would you describe this it's like a very it's like a rosy brown yeah like a deep rose it's really deep so that's why I really like it for fall because um you know like darker new it's a really popular this time of year and the multi sticks can be used obviously everywhere because they're the multi sticks so this is also a really pretty blush during the fall so I like that if you're gonna purchase like a fall lip color you can use this as a blush and a lip color it's a lip color I'm wearing now um this formula is a bit drying because it's like 30% powder I think um, um, so I yeah it's really weird but um, I love the bite multi sticks but I just put lip balm on beforehand before applying and it just makes it go on a lot smoother so I highly recommend doing that uh, yeah I really can't say enough about the formula or this color I think it's so perfect and I love the the magnetic closure yeah so nice okay and last we have two more Trader Joe's finds and favorites first is the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese we put this in a weekly favorite and my mouth just heard of water I know <laughs> so you've heard of it before from us but this is like our favorite fall well we we talked about this in the weekly favorites but it came out last winter so we had expected it to come around maybe in like November yeah that's when it hit shelves last year yeah and so then when we saw it was it even in August or was it September? it was August I think or no maybe it was the first week of September. early September we found this in stores and we just about screamed because it's so delicious I feel like it tastes homemade like the sauce tastes so very good. homemade and authentic it's I'll read what it says 
um, messy rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of gouda cheddar and parmesan cheese. It's so, so delicious. We did mention last year's was cheesier and less spicy. Like, they definitely reformulated it. Yeah. And this, or re-recipe, I don't know. Um, and this year is a little more spicy. Yeah. And less cheesy, more butternut squash Which based. Which like. Yeah, the spices, I don't the know spices what's not nice. in it is spicy, but it's good. It's so good. Get it before it's gone. We like to stock up on these because it's a freezer item, so you can just put them in your freezer and stock up for the rest of the year. And highly recommend making it in the oven versus the microwave. Oh, wait, for sure. As most things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Coffee. It comes in this little container here. Um, there's really not much to say about it. I'll read what it says, though. With orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ground vanilla beans, and pumpkin spice flavor. And you can taste all of that in here. Yeah, it's, it's very by, spicy. Yes, it's by far the best pumpkin spice coffee we've tried. Last year, we talked about the Dunkin' Donuts. Which I do want to mention is the same price. They're both $8, and that comes in a normal like coffee bag. And this, you're getting 14 ounces of Yeah, coffee. and it's so, um, for us, it's really nice and easy to scoop out of this sort of, um, yeah. Yeah. packaging as opposed to a bag so we really love it it's definitely our favorite Trader Joe's coffee for sure and they also come in pods if you use the Keurig oh, yeah um, and which we've used those in the past too or at least I used to buy them uh -huh. when we had a Keurig uh, so yeah highly recommend this it's the best coffee it's so 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 good thank you guys so much for watching our fall favorites we hope you enjoyed it and please let us know some things you've been loving this fall because it's our favorite time of year and we love all the fall things